This essay is called Technology and Utopia. Enjoy. Utopia is a tough one. It has been a common dream in science fiction to escape the physical world through alternate realities and methods, to colonize other planets and moons in deep space, and to have technology that vastly changes our world and the way in which we relate to each other and live. On the other hand, these very technologies often devolve into dystopian narratives, as well as just the struggle for life in a harsh universe that is indifferent to us. Part of me wants to be optimistic. The utopias depicted in science fiction, such as in Star Trek, are very appealing. We want technology to help us improve our lives, and we want a kind of utopia to arise out of that, or at least something better than the dystopia that some people say we already live in. Technology is a way of changing the human condition permanently, and the goal is for constant improvement. On the other hand, I am doubtful. Technology itself is neither good nor bad, but the way that it is used could very much be good or bad, and this is a very important thing to consider. Technology can be used for negative and destructive or self-serving purposes, and we have seen that happen with the rise of social media, which has literally disrupted human communication and interactions by using algorithms that manipulate human behavior, and all in the name of profit. I also think of the atom bomb, which has been terrifying to discuss in the 21st century. But this started with the dream of pure science and became something else entirely, a gargantuan risk to global catastrophe and destruction. I just recently watched the new film Dune, and Utopia is a very powerful element in this book. Spice is used to open up new worlds and vistas through psychedelic experience. Technology is used to fight in combat, and it is the very powerful technology that they have that leads to chaos and the destruction of innocent people. But technology has allowed for the exploration of worlds, and this is powerful to see depicted in both the film and book. In Dune specifically, we see a techno-utopia, or at least the potential for such a thing. The means for this are not just the technology, but also an unspoken power. Paul is able to take control of the populace very much like a messiah figure, and the people believe that he is the one who can take them out of the darkness, so to speak. In a world of betrayal and violence, it makes sense why people would hope that there could be a messiah who could take them out of their endless struggle with the raw elements of the universe and the endless destruction of human nature. Paul represents the ultimate utopia. I want to further analyze some of these themes that I have brought up thus far. The biggest thing I want to analyze is the idea of the conjunction between technology and new worlds and horizons with the idea of utopia. It has been stated that utopias don't really exist, because any time there is the desire to have a perfect world, things always go wrong. This is an important theme. It does seem as though the reliance on a specific technology or ideology to change the world often leads to the seizure of power and the subsequent destruction by authoritarian regimes, which makes it to where people lose their agency through these corrupted regimes, all in the name of utopia and progress. It seems that things often become dystopic very quickly, and this is very much a problem, as anyone can imagine. There are other examples. I think of the belief of transhumanism, for instance. I worry about this idea because displacing humanity through technology seems to be a problematic idea. It wants to replace what it means to be human. But transhumanism is a very common idea in science fiction, whether that is uploading your consciousness to the cloud or replacing your body with technological parts and becoming a cyborg. We see this idea play out in science fiction in so many ways, but it also seems like a dark vision upon further consideration, and one that we need to really consider. These are some of the ideas that we have explored in science fiction, ideas that will hopefully eradicate human suffering through the implementation of powerful technology and a vision of perfection. And this is where I pause to think about the implications here. It seems to me that it is unavoidable that technology is going to change the landscape of human civilization. It always has, and it already has, whether with the printing press, the internet, or space travel. But the way that I see it, we should still take it all with a grain of salt. I believe utopia is impossible to achieve, due to the preponderance of human error and malice, and I think that the vision of science fiction, while powerful, is not pure, in that it can completely make civilization better without any consequences. I think there is bound to be error and conflict. So then what do we do? What is the path forward? What can we imagine? I think a lot about the science fiction stories that I grew up with, whether in film or books, and how much I resonated with the vision that things were still a bold new future, and how we could explore that future. In my understanding of the world, having a new bold horizon is a good thing. 
we've had these visions of a fantastical future, whether from the writings of Philip K. Dick or Isaac Asimov or Frank Herbert, and we are always expanding and growing as a civilization and as humans. And we are always trying new things and creating new technologies. Traveling to Mars or the Moon is a good example of this. It has become a significant part of the narrative that people may be able to get off the Earth, and maybe even soon, in order to live on Mars. With the efforts of Elon Musk, we have seen the attempt of engineers and scientists to make Mars our home at some point in the not-too-distant future. As stated earlier, this is the dream of science fiction, to be able to colonize whole new worlds. I find myself conflicted on these views and issues, because on the one hand, I think we need to be careful, but on the other hand, this seems to be the way that humans are moving forward with the dream of technology and utopia, and so the vision can't be ignored, even if it can be criticized or questioned. It should be questioned. I am doubtful that we can reach utopia with our current means, with the way humans are, and I am doubtful that technology is the way that we will do this. Technology can be either good or bad, depending on its execution, as I've said. We must decide how we use it. But that doesn't mean that what we create technologically is going to automatically solve our problems and lift us out of very existential struggles that we face, will face, and have always faced. Nonetheless, it is a fascinating idea to use the lens of science fiction to think about how things can change and evolve, to think about how things could be different. And the point of something like narrative, such as in science fiction, is to get us to imagine new things, new futures, new worlds. I am open to such possibilities, even if I am also very doubtful that they will all be successful. I am open to new possibilities because I think that there is much that can happen, and much that is possible, and I think that if we are open-minded enough to it all, we will be living in a very different world, even just over the next hundred years. So much is changing exponentially, and I believe we won't be living in the same world soon enough. Our landscape will be radically altered, and the vision of techno-utopia will play out, for better or for worse. We'll experience new horizons and have new ways of living, being, and thinking. There is much to imagine. In that way, it is a wild new frontier, and there is no telling what will happen. It is hard to imagine what can happen, but we can definitely think about it and imagine and hopefully create. It is very powerful to think about, and hopefully things move in a positive direction for humans. Hopefully science fiction can be a dream to boldly imagine new things. I don't know what the future will bring, but I am still nonetheless hopeful. There is a lot of potential to tap into, it's just a matter of finding ways of tapping into it and hopefully experiencing a bold new universe.